Welcome to this week's live crystal channeling. Uh, I'm Krista Mitchell, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> um, um, and really happy to be here this week because uh, this week I am channeling from Lepidolite. And this has been a um, highly requested crystal in the past while. And you know, if, if I were to think of it, you know, from the um, perspective of a healer, uh, which of course I am, uh, you know, as we go into seasonal shifts and whether you are in the Northern or Southern hemisphere, you're going through uh, some seasonal changes right now, either from summer transitioning into fall or what's the opposite, uh, winter transitioning into um, spring. And oftentimes when there's seasonal shifts and changes, uh, uh, it can disrupt our sleep patterns, our natural cycles. Um, and so lapidolite may very well be a popular crystal for that right now because it certainly does help with sleep. But lapidolite, you know, is very interesting because it's a powerful third eye crystal. Uh, it, it clearly embodies and emits uh, that violet ray uh, uh, of energy and, and color energy. Uh, and there's a lot more to lapidolite than meets the eye or what people necessarily discuss. So ah, I'm going to get settled into the channeling now and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for your love every week. <coughs> mm. uh, that's not energy clearing actually. I just for my system, I was saging myself before. Sage thyself. <laughs> All right, here we go. So tuning into Lapidolite, and interestingly enough, even as I, I tune into this and um, let this energy kind of infuse me, it's actually really, really quite powerful. Now, of course, I'm working with a, a rough a piece of, of, of lapidolite, um, um, but, but really, really kind of powerful, potent energy that's, that's uh, kind of going through my system right away. And I'm definitely feeling it, I would say, up here. So in the higher chakras of my system, um, as well as through my other hand, um, really feeling this energy come up through And so it's definitely in that higher frequency level of crystals. And yet at the same time, it doesn't have an edge to it. Like some really high frequency crystals like, uh, you know, damberite, quartz, the, you know, even certain tourmalines, there can be a really kind of I don't want to say sharp edge, but like a real strong sort of direct edge to their energy. And this feels like it's powerful, but there's a softness to it. It's kind of like a wave. It first comes on you powerfully, um, um, but it doesn't have um, that, that hardness. It just kind of sort of washes through your system. And I'm definitely feeling some third eye um, activity starting to happen here. But overall, you know, it's interesting because some weeks when I channel crystals, you know, the energy is really powerful. The energy really overtakes me. Um, I'm not feeling that here. I'm feeling more of what I want to say is presence, like presence, awareness, um, a certain calmness has kind of taken over, but it's like, it's not a lethargic calmness. I'm going to say it's not even a sleepy calmness. It's more of just, you know, an overall calm, an overall center. And I'm seeing this image of like the Eastern sage, uh, 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 the Eastern sage, the Eastern uh, uh, teacher or mentor who's been on the path for a very long time, who embodies a lot of wisdom. And that's actually a key word that I would say that's coming from um, <clears throat> this energy of lapidolite is embodied embodiment. It's helping. So I can see right away for, for those, I was just writing a blog today on blog article on anxiety and crystal therapy for anxiety, um, for, for my wait list. And, you know, it's, it's interesting how, um, 
you know, part of what happens with anxiety and other, you know, other disturbances in our energy system is our energy all kind of comes up here and it gets very much in the mental plane, but it's like lipidolite, I just feel like it's slowing everything down and bringing everything down, but in a way that feels centered. So it brings you back into a place of embodiment, a place of centeredness, a place of awareness. Those for you who, uh, those of you who are practicing uh, presence, practicing mindfulness, especially um, <clears throat> as a potent uh, technique for managing stress, for managing anxiety. Like I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, oh yeah, you know, it's just really, really helps to bring you down into that place of centeredness and mindfulness where you can just be in the present moment and allow the present moment. And I'm still aware of what I'm feeling. I'm actually feeling a little bit of anxiety, which is sort of funny, you know, down in, in my tummy area. But I, I feel like the more I'm coming into this embodiment, it's almost like there's this whole energy shift of my body, of my being, that's beingness that's coming into this place. And so what I'm hearing is, this is one of the ways that lipidolite is extremely beneficial for stress sufferers, anxiety sufferers, um, also uh, people who suffer from insomnia, not because it necessarily kind of knocks you out, you know, puts you to sleep, that type of thing, um, um, but, but, but because it brings you down into this place of embodiment where you can be centered, where you can be reconnected with your natural rhythms and cycles that pattern out through all levels of our body. So not just physical, but emotional, mental, and spiritual. It reminds me in some ways of Mukite Jasper. Mukite Jasper is also that way, but it works very much in the lower uh, energy centers of our body. So that's Lipidolite. Lipidolite, this incredible crystal of presence, of mindfulness, of centeredness, what many people might call balance, um, really just helping to bring me back into this place. So this, you know, people who are, for instance, writers, authors, people who kind of wear those many hats, you know, all my, my small business people out there, you know, you wear so many hats and especially when you're spiritual or you're a healer, you know, you're, you're not just uh, doing your work, which of course can be very trans-dimensional and can really bring you in, you know, altered state places. Then you've got to get back down and file your taxes um, and, uh, you know, nurture your email list and, you know, pay your rent and do all these other kind of real life 3D things. So this lipidolite feels like a really great transitional crystal to help. Okay, I'm coming back out of the space of whatever I was in. Now I want to come into this place of presence, this place of centeredness, mindfulness, present moment, so that I can then shift and adjust my attention to what I need to do next. So this is also a wonderful steadying crystal for those of you who may feel like you need, you know, that energy or that support throughout the day. And it's fascinating, you know, I'm always learning things too. Lipidolite would not necessarily be a crystal I would have commonly recommended for people to carry around with them or have in the workplace or whatever because it has, you know, that really soothing energy. But now having done this channeling, I'm thinking this is a great crystal to have on hand to help you be in that place of of centered embodiment and mindfulness and awareness and presence, which of course benefits absolutely everything in your experience, in your health, mental health, physical health, emotional health, spiritual health. Um, so what a beautiful crystal and what a, a wonderful experience and opportunity. So thank you to everyone uh, who requested Lipidolite this week. Those of you who are watching this now or in the live now, I hope that this was of service to you. I hope this crystal energy can be of benefit for you. And of course, I will be back same time, same place next week. So thank you everyone so much for joining and um, take care and carry your lapidolite.